How you doing? How are you both? It's been a while since, Good. Um, nice since, your face. since yeah, since I last saw you in Melbourne. It's uh, yeah, and three years since the last album, Synergy. It's uh, oh, I find that um, the the strange thing about talking to you guys is I find that every time I talk to you, I keep telling you that the new album's better than the last one. Which, <laughs> That's our goal. So, <laughs> right with us on that. Which is true. It's my it's my favorite so far. I mean, I I thought you'd have a hard time beating Synergy, but um, this one's fantastic. I like I've, since 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 the day I got it, I've got it, had it in the car, which is always a test for me. So, if I can drive yeah, around with it off, yeah, it's good. Cool. So, no, thank you so much because yeah, we we started working on. I mean, we can get more into this in the interview, but. You know, we've been working on this album pretty much since Synergy was done. So we've lived with these songs for a long time. You just, you lose focus. Is it good? Is it not good? Is it? I know we're towards the end. We were just like, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I don't know anymore. Oh, it, it all worked out beautifully well in the end. Um, with the world, the world's changed though, since last time we saw you. I mean, uh, you were just about to escape Melbourne. Uh, then COVID hit the world and, uh, what happened? It must have been fantastic to play that first show. I've sort of like been watching you on social media and stuff like that. And so actually the relief of getting out there and playing that first show back must have been a wonderful thing. Oh, absolutely. Um, you know, there were there was part of, you know, because yeah, we made it out, I think, within a week before everything yeah. shut down and a couple of days. Yeah. And at first it was there there was some bit of relaxation that was really nice but then you start getting stir crazy and you want to get out getting on the stage and seeing the other guys that we play with when we do the live shows and stuff was just fantastic and it's just a release that you can't get any other way it was nerve-wracking though because it had been so long and like it just i i definitely was more nervous than i'd been in a long time it was like i i don't know how this is gonna go but we're here. Yeah, I mean, I mean, in, in the early days, it was it was still very much unknown, wasn't it? I mean, we didn't know how badly it was going to affect us or not affect us. I mean, I've since had, uh, as we call in Australia, the spicy cough. <laughs> I've had it. I've had it the once now, and it was it was okay. It was like no no worse than flu, but obviously other people react in different ways. Um, well, we had it before we came to Australia. Mm, that's right. Everybody's, yeah. everybody's going to think we gave it to Australia. Quiet. <laughs> oh, no, we were, we were fine by the time we left for Australia, but we're pretty sure that's what we had. Right. I, it was before it really got called out of what and there, were, yeah. there, was, there testing, was no testing. But... There was nothing. So, but I know that I had a fever for 10 days straight of 102, yeah. and I had never, yeah. ever had anything like that before. So we're thinking that's probably what it was. We all passed it around the house too. Yeah. Well, let's let's hope we never get anything like this again. Um, yeah, you're actually yeah. release you're releasing the album today, and my favorite uh, favorite tracks the next single. Oh, all awesome! Right. I'm living free. Yeah, it's wonderful. So, and okay. what a great way to open as well. It's uh, oh, thank you. Yeah, it, <laughs> yeah, it, yeah, it like you. when you, when you come up with a song like that, you must know it's pretty special you know it was no. yeah <laughs> i had come up with that initial like the main riff that you hear in the opening of the song and then it went to a different place originally in the verse and you know janet wasn't feeling it as much and then she you know tweaked it and it became what it was and it was funny because at that point in the album we were kind of we were on a roll so we had we finished that song. We were right onto the next. So probably a good month or two went by before we even went back and listened to it again. And we put it on in the car one day driving and went, oh, my God, this is good. This has got to be the opening track of the, the album. Well, and that's the great thing is that, if you know, if you're not sure, put it away for a while. Yeah. Break it out again when, you know, you have fresh ears and you have no expectations. And I think that's when it clicked for us of like, Let's finish this one. Yeah. It was only partially finished when we, you know, put it on in the car that day. And it was like, oh, we got to finish this yeah. like, now. Do you, 
do you get to make all the decisions about what goes on there? Or yeah. does anyone anyone else have any input? Well, we ask people's opinions, but yeah, yeah the bottom line is at the end of, us. at the end of the day, we've been very fortunate. The first three albums were strictly with pavement and they've always kind of let us do what we wanted to do. And Frontiers got involved on this one and we were a little nervous that, okay, are they maybe going to want us to tweak something or they want the whole album to sound a certain way, but no, they were cool too. Just like pavement and just let us do what we wanted to do. Yeah. Um, you've tried some, like, I, I think you've tried some different things on this album as well. You've sort of like pushed the boundaries just a little bit. Well, one of the songs I found myself coming back to, and I like I, pretty much the whole album, but don't turn me away. It was, was one that just I kept coming back to. There's something about that song. Um, oh. how, how did that one come about? I, I like that you say that because it does the same thing for me too. It's it's probably one of my favorite songs on the whole album. Um, that song, I remember just it was late at night, and I I think Janet probably was asleep at that point. And I snuck down into our studio. And I just started noodling on the acoustic and I came up with that riff, that opening to that song. And it was something totally out of the, that I normally would never, I don't know what my brain was thinking that night, but it was, it went somewhere it doesn't normally go. And the next morning she heard it and it was the kind of the same thing. And then she dove into it and started adding her touches to it. And it, as soon as she came up with the vocal melody, it all of a sudden took on this almost supernatural life to me that pre-chorus hits and it's mm. almost ghostly and it's it just it's moving i i i don't know it's well like the first time that i heard you playing that i was like oh my god i love that however remember i had a different verse melody you did and i was not happy i was like something is not right about this something is missing so I tried to get that old one out of my head. It was like, get out, get out, get out, start over, start fresh. And then I came up with the newer melody and it was much more fitting for my husband's unbelievable. <laughs> it was, it's, it's, it's a great song. And I also think probably my favorite ballad that you've written so far, Hold On To You, uh, is it, it's great. I mean, it's up there. like. 35 years ago that that would have been huge i reckon <laughs> on the radio yeah. everywhere oh thank you so much that was but, another uh, one that evolved a lot we were upstairs watching some tv show and there was a fender Rhodes piano playing and justin goes what is that i said that's a fender Rhodes." and he goes we got to get that sound i said we have it it's in logic it's called something else but that's the sound that's what it is so he runs down there he, he starts he goes where is it where's the sound give me that sound <laughs> yeah. that's kind of how that started yeah. and then it and it it's one of those two where it's the same pattern the same chords all the way through pretty much mm -hmm. the verse is the same as the verse right to be honest i don't even remember yeah, anymore at this point <laughs> Yeah, so it was, those are challenging because you want to keep it like that, but it's hard to keep it different and interesting enough yeah. between the verse yeah. and the chorus. So that was a weird challenge, but... Yeah, you pulled it off. Don't Turn Me Away and Hold On To You were written back to back with each other, and it was pretty early on in the life of this album. And I remember that was the point that I realized we were on it, so we had something special developing here with this album, and and I couldn't wait to finish it. They were it was us, but it was slightly different than what we've done before. There, there's something a little yeah. different about it, fresh. Yeah, there was a few other tracks as well that we'll talk about in a bit. But um, how do you, you know get? What, a I, bit... have, I have one more interesting point about "Hold On to You." People are going to think when they hear it that Justin emulated that melody in the solo from the chorus though, oh, 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 it was actually the opposite. He played oh, okay. that in solo and I was like, that has to go in the chorus. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> so it's, you know, it's not exactly, things don't evolve the way people think they do. 
So that was interesting. How, how do you get around this? How do you get around this time when the albums just hit? Do you read a lot of reviews? Do you do you listen to any of them? Do you, Absolutely, do you can't do you help it. Out? As yeah. much as you don't want, you know, you, you don't want to, you do. You can't help it. It's like a candy shop. You have to see what people are saying and like your review, you know, when it comes from credible people, you want to read it. You want to hear. And again, because we live with it for so long and we're biased potentially because we write what we like. We're hoping other people get it too and like it. So like reading your review made us go, okay, I think we did good. I think he gets I, it. I, I Yay. Was, yeah. right. I mean, it's I mean, I, 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 he looks for reviews a lot more than I do. <laughs> He'll do like a Google search and send them to me and stuff. <laughs> I don't really yeah. seek them out, but I, I do like reading them, even if they're yeah. not favorable. It's, it's just yeah. interesting to see how people who are critics and critical of things see what you know what you just put out there. So I'm I'm, I'm lucky in the fact that I I only review stuff I like. So if ever you don't see a review, that's when you get worried. <laughs> I like it, he's not even going to write about it. <laughs> yeah. Well, why why would you share stuff that you don't think is great with everyone? I mean, I I just love I I just love to think that if someone reads a review and they think, hey, I think I'd like that, they'll go out and buy it. So. Uh, that's the sure, whole point, I guess, really, for me. Right, exactly. But, yeah, it helps big time. And again, sure. and yeah. again, you you can tell when somebody really listened to the album, and you do. And I mean, like I, said, I found myself, I went and I read your Skid Row review of their last <laughs> album and the Night City album and stuff because I trust your opinion, and you know, it makes me want to read it even more. Yeah, well, we can't quite talk about the Midnight City thing, can we, at the minute? But maybe, maybe sometime in the future. I might Hopefully save that now. very soon. That to the end. <laughs> but, uh, you'll see. Um, there's pop. There's pop in there. What's going on? It's a great song. But uh, where did that come from? I mean, that that was the one I guess that most surprised me on the album. Yeah, I'm. I have a little pop princess in me. I'll admit <laughs> it. <laughs> that That's was a great another song. One. Thank, you. <laughs> Thank you. That was the second song written for this new album. And I remember I had an idea in my head and came up with that beginning guitar thing and I maybe the pre-chorus or something. And then Janet came up with this other idea that at first I was like, I don't know. And then she sang it and I went, oh my God, that is awesome. That, that chorus is so hooky and it's, it's great. She just took it in a and, way better direction than I go, would have. You know, it's it's pretty poppy, but I don't care. Mm. You know, I, it, it works. I mean, if it works, it, it works. It might not be for everyone, but there's a lot more other songs on the album. So, what, what was and it? our it's our daughter's favorite. That's what I was gonna say. Her and her friends and their teenagers said, "Oh my god, I love this song." She's like, "Okay, maybe we did something right. You know, we're appealing to a <laughs> younger of an audience." Yeah. 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 It's uh, it's fantastic, uh, and the, what a great way to close as well with drink. I would like that's that's fantastic. It's just fun. I mean, I could see. I think I write in the review. I could see you closing a set with that. It's just uh, just a good way to go. Yeah, it must be really. To, we always have to put at least one kind of silly fun song. Yeah. On it. Yeah. We have so yeah. far. Every yeah. album has had at least one kind of like just fun, silly, not serious in the least song mm. and that was the one for this album <laughs> it, it must be so hard though uh, when you produce an album like this to decide what what goes from the set list oh so hard we're we're about to play our very first show after this album comes out to, uh, friday and uh yeah we were having that dilemma we're like what do we what do we take out now from the set that we've comfortably enjoyed we, playing for we years still don't know. We still don't. Yeah. We're, we're still going back and forth on what's going to go, and uh, it's actually nice because the other two guys, Richie and Anthony, in the band, they Richie lives in Nashville and Anthony lives in New Jersey, so we don't get together very often other than to do a show. So we don't really have practices or any. I think we've had one band practice ever since we started playing together, and before we do this next show is the first time that the four of us are going to get together and we're going to have a rehearsal. 
and we're going to try out some of these new songs and play them and see how they go. And I yeah, it's like wait. a luxury to yeah. get everybody here when you're not like actually just running off the sound check immediately from the airport. We're actually going to have a day to hang out, you know, enjoy each other's company and do some rehearsing. Yeah. Mm. It's, great. it's crazy. I mean, I, I obviously like to hear all the new stuff, so get as many in as you can. Um, and uh, <laughs> yeah. I'll, we'll I'll be happy. It's I'm strange like that. It's like when a band has a new album and I, I love the band, I, I sort of like don't want to hear all the, the stuff that I've heard before. I want to, I want to see what the new ones sound like on stage. So it, I know, I know, I know everyone's not like that. And you can, you can't please everyone. You've got to play certain songs, but uh, yeah. Oh, absolutely. Like, you know, we, we would get strung up if we didn't play Edge of a Broken Heart. And yeah. Well, I mean, it, that that's what I was going to come to next. It's 35 years this year. Can you believe it? I remember buying that record. Come on. Where did where does time go? Yeah. 35 years? Yeah, this year. Wow. That's I'm old. No. <laughs> it's uh what was the best thing about recording that first album? Oh, it was very exciting, but it was also stressful. You know, mm. cuz we we were a live band and we had made some demos and you know, had some studio experience and stuff, but it was it was pretty stressful being yeah. in there and doing it over and over and <laughs> over and over. You know, it, it's a lot easier to record these days, I gotta say, because, you know, you can, it's a lot easier to cut and paste and yeah. like that, you know, back then you had to have the song down, you did your pre-production and then you go in and you do it for real and that's it there's no like oh we'll just cut this part and you know insert this better performance or something it's it was pretty stressful but it was exciting really exciting yeah. too it's still a great album but i mean i just find myself saying it like i sort of prefer no strings to uh to to anything i mean anything you've done it's uh <laughs> It's it's fantastic. Um, I've got a, a new part we're doing now. We've got a radio station uh, that we we go and see every every Thursday in Australia, and we've just started doing something with a radio station in the UK as well. So um, we highlight an album every week. This week, I'd like to highlight your album. So I'd like to get a couple of intros from you, uh, and I can send you all the links to the. To which station it is because the I think the UK one gets syndicated, so we'll uh, we'll do that. But okay. also as well, there's there's a section on there that they do called From the Vaults, where you you each get to pick uh, an album that you love and select a song from that particular album. So Ooh, not one that you not one that you've recorded, but one that you just think people should hear about. Okay. Or go and revisit maybe. Yeah. Yeah, I need to think on that. Okay. You've already picked some a kiss. <laughs> One the big kiss, sure. no, kiss or UFO. I don't I don't know yet. I'm... Okay. <laughs> but yeah, no, that'd be great. But uh okay. thank you so much for another wonderful album. I I really enjoyed it. It's it, it it's funny, last year there were loads of fantastic albums, as Justin probably will, will agree. Um, yeah. but this year has been a bit it's been a bit thinner on the ground I think so far so currently you're vying for top spot in album of the year so oh like that all right see I think I, I think the, <laughs> I think Synergy was like second or third pick when that came out so let's see if we can push push it one eye but thank oh, you so much you. guys it's always great to speak to you, and I can't wait to see you next year. You great too. to see you. Yeah, I yeah. can't wait to see you in person, Mark. Yeah, thank you. Thanks for everything. Thanks, guys. Bye.